Blake Gibbons picked himself up off the floor, where he'd been rolling around with a pair of dogs named Bruce and Wayne. The black lab licked his face, and Blake chuckled. You ready for me, Tess? A blonde-haired woman gestured him into the kitchen, setting the broom she'd been wielding against the counter. Sit right there. He took the stool his boss and the foreman at Brush Creek Horse Ranch had sat on, then Tess and Walker's two boys, and now Blake. What do you want this time? Shave it off. The vaults are insufferably damp. They are encrusted with nitro. No, let us go, nevertheless. The cold is merely nothing. Amontillado, you have been imposed upon. <coughs> And, well, as for Lucchese, he cannot distinguish Sherry from Amontillado. Draw your cloak, my friend, and to your palazzo! Former Secretary of State Dean Acheson cleared his throat. <clears throat> Mr. President, I'm afraid that I have to agree with General LeVay. None of us wanted this. But the die has just been cast. A war has been thrust upon us. We must quickly respond, and we must respond with full measures. What if uh, it's an accident? asked the president. Sir, we don't know, and it doesn't matter, said LeMay impatiently. He gave Kennedy a sour look. We have to assume it is not. We must assume it's the first nuke they've deployed which will be rapidly followed by all they have. So we need to retaliate with everything we have. LeMay took a deep breath and then slowly exhaled it. They've started it. We need to stop it. The quicker we stop it, the more lives we'll save. I had killed Medusa with help from my sister Athena. Now I rode Pegasus on my way to save my mother from the odious king who held her captive. After several hours, our flight took us over a mountainous shoreline. We followed the coast until a rocky outcropping came into sight with a naked young woman chained to the rocks. She appeared exhausted, breathing heavily through clenched teeth, but she kicked and hit at the crab-like creatures attacking her. Pegasus flew silently, but the girl saw our shadow and looked up. Blisters from sun and salt exposure covered her face and body. We overflew her slightly, and she stretched for my hand, but I couldn't grasp her. That image of her reaching for me seared into my mind, and I still see it today.